AudioSnap 2.0 is a powerful feature that uses audio transients to generate markers. It lets you move those markers to stretch audio transients as if they were MIDI notes. I'm Seth Perlstein with Cakewalk, and it's time to get started with AudioSnap 2.0. There are several ways to start working with AudioSnap. Click on a single clip to select it, or hold Control while clicking to select multiple clips, or select entire tracks by clicking and dragging down Sonar's track numbers. Once a clip is selected, typing the keyboard shortcut Shift-A will bring up the Audio Snap palette. If you prefer to use a button to open and close the Audio Snap palette, you can use the Open Audio Snap Palette widget, which will open and close the palette with each press. But if you want to show the Audio Snap palette and turn on Audio Snap on the selected clips with a single click, use the Transient Tool button. The cool thing about the transient tool is it only allows you to edit audio snap markers. That means you won't mistakenly edit a clip or something else when you just want to edit audio snap markers. To move a marker and stretch its audio, grab either the bottom or top of the marker's stem. Then move the marker left to right as if it were a MIDI note. Keep in mind it will follow snap to grid settings, mine is set to 16th notes right now. To relocate a marker without stretching nearby audio, grab the marker's head which is located in the middle of the stem. Notice that when moved or stretched, the marker's head points in the direction it was moved. To manually insert a marker, hold the ALT key and left click. Manually inserted markers will stretch the nearest transient just like automatically generated markers. But Audio Snap isn't only about moving just one marker at a time. You can lasso select to select multiple transient markers and move them simultaneously. You can also lasso select transients across multiple clips, which is really handy when manipulating multi-track drums. And if you double click on a single marker, Audio Snap will automatically select nearby markers on adjacent tracks. This is crucial in maintaining phase relationships across multi-tracked recordings. Right-clicking on an audio snap marker brings up its options menu. Resetting a marker moves it to its original position. Disabling the marker will mean that transient ignores audio snap. Click disable again to re-enable it. Promoting a marker means that that transient will always be audio snap enabled no matter what the settings are. Deleting a marker is possible, but only on manually inserted markers. When you right-click on an automatically generated audio snap marker, the delete marker function will be grayed out. You can also stretch a marker to or move a marker to a specific point in time, audition a piece of audio between two audio snap markers, and split a clip at each audio snap marker point, which is great for sampling and rearranging loops. And you can show the audio snap palette from the right click menu as well. The audio snap palette is kind of like a toolbox with features and settings just for audio snap. The big power button on the left turns audio snap on and off on selected clips. The copy as MIDI button copies audio snap transients as MIDI notes, which can then be pasted to MIDI tracks. This is great for doing drum replacement or drum augmentation. The Show Hide Transient button shows and hides markers without enabling or disabling audio snap. The Split Beats into Clips button slices a clip at its transient markers, while the Set Clip Time Base button tells audio snap to move clips by absolute or musical time. Sonar does a good job of guessing the average tempo of a clip or groups of clips, but if you prefer to set your own time base for a clip, you can do that in the Average Tempo pop-up window. This comes in handy when converting a clip into half or double time. The blue and gray button in the top right corner of the Audio Snap palette launches the Audio Snap Options menu. Remember a little while back when I double-clicked a marker and it's selected nearby markers on other clips? The size of the pool transient window tells Audio Snap how far away a marker can be from the original double-clicked marker for it to be selected. When copying audio snap markers to MIDI notes, there are a few options to be aware of. Convert to MIDI note gives you the option of which MIDI note you want the markers to be converted to. 
while note velocities converts audio snap transient volume level to corresponding MIDI velocities or to a specific MIDI velocity. Auto fade split clips will put a fade on each end of a clip you split automatically with audio snap, and you can customize the fade time in milliseconds. The radius pitch and phase coherence sliders adjust the smoothness of the radius mix advanced algorithm. The filter section's threshold slider shows and hides transients based on their volume level. The lower the threshold, the more transients will show, the higher the threshold, less transients will show. The threshold's resolution is fully adjustable to show transients on a specific musical value. The timing section allows you to quantize, extract, and apply grooves from transients. Clicking Quantize opens the Quantize menu, which is the same as the MIDI Quantize menu. Instead of manually moving markers, quantizing automatically changes their timing. Clicking the Extract Groove button creates temporary pool markers from the transients. These pool markers are used as a temporary template and can be applied to another track, which is known as groove matching. The tempo section's set project from clip changes the project's tempo based on the clip's tempo. These tempo changes can be made to happen at the beat, measure, or start of the clip. Clips follows project places small red arrows in the top left corner of the clips and tells those clips to play back at the project's tempo and follow any tempo changes at the beat, measure, clip boundary, or auto stretch. Clicking Edit Clip Map allows you to edit the audio snap properties of an individual clip. You can change its average tempo, its beats per measure, and you can manually beat map the clip by dragging measures to specific beats. This is extremely useful when extracting the tempo from a clip that was recorded without a metronome. Audio Snap has two render modes and several algorithms to choose from. Online algorithms are used in real time as you play back your project. The Groove Clip algorithm is best for musical material, while the Percussion algorithm is best on drums. Offline rendering is done when you bounce a clip or track, freeze a track, or export a project. Sonar Producer comes with the Isotope Radius Suite, which has specific algorithms tailored to entire mixes, solo instruments, basses, and vocals. And you can tell Audio Snap to apply these algorithm changes to individual clips, entire tracks, or as a global setting. Thanks for getting started with Audio Snap. For more information, visit cakewalk.com/sonar.